what's up everybody welcome back to phil's kitchen in today's video let's make this yummy spicy and seasoned french fries these are so so good fried to perfection to give you that crispier texture on the outside they are finished with some homemade french fry seasoning which i'm actually showing you how to make it in this video i'm serving mine with some tomato sauce you can serve them with whatever sauce you like so without saying more let's get started so before we get started i just want to mention quickly that i've listed all the ingredients for this recipe in the description box down below so don't forget to check on that so first here i'm going to cut my potatoes into fry shapes as you see the way i'm doing it here you can use a french fry cutter if you have which is actually much better so that you get even french fries so once you're done cutting the potatoes you're just going to put them in water so this water is very very cold so you'll just put the potato pieces and then I'm just going to let this soak for about 10 minutes this is just to remove all the starch that's in the potatoes and also removing the starch helps the potatoes be crispier once they have been fried next you're going to quickly boil the potato pieces so you remove the potatoes in the soaking water and then you slowly put them in boiling water we're going to boil this for about three minutes make sure you are very keen on that make sure not to overcook them we just want them to cook a bit just to be soft a bit and then they will continue cooking when they are being fried so i'm also adding some salt i'm going to mix that for about some seconds and then i'm just going to let this boil for approximately three minutes once that is done i'm going to remove them from the hot water and then set them aside as we go to our next step Once you've removed them from the hot water, you're just going to let them cool completely. This will take about 20 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, let's make our seasoning. So here I have some paprika, some cayenne, some chili powder, some garlic powder, some dry oregano, some salt, and some black pepper. You just go ahead and mix everything together for about a minute until well incorporated. So remember I've listed the ingredients for this seasoning in the description box down below. Don't forget to check on that. Now let's fry our potatoes. So you'll just heat oil over medium heat. Once the oil is ready, you'll just add your potato pieces you're just going to fry this for about four minutes so here's the thing guys we are going to fry the potatoes two times so for the first round we are going to fry them for about four to five minutes and then we're just going to remove them from the hot oil we let them cool a bit and then we'll just return them back to the hot oil for the second time just to brown them and get them more crispier and crunchier on the outside. So while the potatoes are frying, let me just check what's on my Instagram, what you guys are saying over there. And by the way, if you're not following me on my Instagram or TikTok, you better do because I have so much over there as well. My handles for both Instagram and TikTok is at Phil's underscore kitchen. So make sure you go and follow me there as well. I would love you to be part of the family there as well. The potatoes are ready at this point. You'll just remove them from the hot oil, place them over a kitchen towel, and then you just let this cool for about 20 minutes. So to speed up this process, just place them in the fridge for about 20 minutes, and then you come back to our second fry. You'll again heat the oil that we used earlier for our first fry, and then you're just going to add the potato pieces. You're going to fry them until they're nicely golden brown and crispier on the outside this will take about three to four minutes and once they are done just remove them from the hot oil place them on a bowl and immediately you will season them with our fry seasoning make sure all the fries are covered with that seasoning just toss your bowl just to mix everything together that will take about a minute and that's just it your fries are ready to serve this one smells so amazing they are spicy they are yummy crispier and crunchier on the outside as well you can serve them with whatever sauce you like i served mine with some tomato sauce and i tell you it was so so yummy go ahead make them and i hope you enjoy them as much as i did and that's all for today guys i hope to see you on my next one bye